With us now is Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland of Terrell County, Texas, and Sheriff Roy Boyd of Goliad County, Texas. Uh, thank you both for coming on. We do appreciate that. So, uh, Sheriff Cleveland, I'll start with you. The latest data released by CBP that we've showed you. Um, talk to us about that and the, the impacts that it's having, perhaps where you are. Sean, Emma, good morning. And look, to, to greater show that number, we're at over 1.6 million um, apprehensions, entries here in the United States for this fiscal year. Again, those numbers continue to climb. And, and here in my county, fortunately, we've had some uh, some recent rains um, with that tropical storm blowing up through Mexico, which will actually prevent crossings due to the weather, due to the rise of the Rio Grande River, and then, of course, the flow of the river. But, but look, Carroll County, much like the rest of the counties in Texas and across the, the United States, we're still being inundated with illegal aliens. And the only way we're going to stop this, it's not going to be this administration continuing to, to dangle another carrot in front of Americans. It's going to be by voting in a new president into the White House. Mm. Um, the two men have very different approaches to dealing with this crisis uh, between Biden and Trump, as we have covered extensively. Um, we've also been following a tragic story out of Maryland, the death of Rachel Morin. Um, an illegal migrant is facing charges for first degree murder, first degree rape. Her mother, Patty Morin, joined Rob Finnerty on Wake Up America earlier this morning. A very tragic, tragic interview. She's so emotional. Um, she was talking about how she hasn't heard from President Biden. She did receive a phone call from former President Donald Trump. Here's part of that conversation. When I actually spoke to him on the phone, he was like your next door neighbor who's checking in on you and making sure that you're OK. And is there anything they can do to help? And he, he really did show a genuine concern for our family and a genuine concern in wanting to know more about Rachel so he could understand, in part, the tragedy that we're experiencing. So because of his authenticity, I really appreciate the phone call. It was very gracious of him because he didn't have to do that, and, but he took the time. And so I, I just appreciate it. Um, obviously, a very kind gesture by the former president to make the call. But the fact, Sheriff Boyd, that he has to make a call to begin with, uh, the fact that this death took place, I mean, this could have all been avoided, right? You're absolutely right. What, but what this tragedy brings to light is the difference between the current government that we have and the government that we will have under our Trump administration. Currently, our government is heartless. It has no compassion for the people in this country and does not view individuals as somebody made in the image of God, just as a subject underneath the government's rule. Under Trump's administration, what you will find is that kindness and compassion that has to come back because we can't forget that the government works for the people. The people don't belong to the government. Trump understands that. The Biden administration does not. And we have to reverse that role and put the people back in charge of the government the way that the founding fathers intended it in the first place. Rachel Morin in her 30s, a mother of five. Uh, this tragedy happened, and it wasn't just this tragedy. This struck a 12-year-old as well. I mean, just yesterday in Houston, Texas, Sheriff Cleveland, two men who are believed to be illegal migrants, according to CBP, they were encountered, vetted, and then released, now facing capital murder charges after being arrested. This in the murder of a 12-year-old girl dumping her body in a nearby river. Again, illegal migrants uh, charged, believed to be, at the heart of this. Uh, Sheriff Cleveland, your thoughts? Hey, I spent 26 years as a U.S. Border Patrol agent. I've been a sheriff for a couple of years now, and I'm a lifelong resident of the U.S.-Mexico border. Look, I've spent a career reviewing rap sheets of illegal aliens that we've apprehended, criminal aliens, um, what we're seeing now, it, it, in my opinion, it is worse. And the reason it's worse is because it's no longer the, the U.S.-Mexico border. It's now the U.S. world border. And people are coming from all over the world, making entry through the Mexican border. And these last two um, subjects, again, Venezuelans, um, you know, the, the subject with the Maryland murder, Miss Morton, El Salvador. You know, these are people are coming to this country not for good reasons. we got a lot of people coming in for bad reasons. And we will continue to see acts like this. Uh, and, until we get a new president and we go out there and we clean up our streets of, of those causing this uh, havoc. 
Yeah, just 12 years old. Unbelievable. Uh, Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland, Sheriff Roy Boyd, thank you both. Appreciate it. Thank you.